Hey everyone, it's Carlo. In this video, we're going to look at Auto Stretch. It's an application built into Melodyne 4 that allows you to import waveforms and they'll tempo map themselves to corresponding audio that you have already analyzed here in your session. Let's take a listen. I've got an acoustic guitar here. And as you can see, I can select focus. And here we see the guitar polyphonic plotted out for us in its beautiful Melodyne glory. Let's take a listen. Okay, so here in our workspace, we can see that the notes are now ready for us to do some editing. This is really handy. Up at, above that, we've got our tracks view. If you don't see the track lanes, notice here at the top left, you've got these icons that you can toggle on and off. And I'm toggling my track lanes on and off like that. Now I've got my acoustic here in the first track lane. Above that, we have our tempo reading dialog box right here. And you'll see that it's saying it's an average of 88.53. And if this had an equal sign, it would mean that the tempo was constant. But this tempo isn't. It's a free feel. Take a listen again and watch the meter here. You can see that it's fluctuating ever so slightly, but it's still moving. Now, next to that, we've got our drop down box. And here I'm going to choose Edit Tempo. This tempo box here opens up in our note editor. Let me double click our slider. Here's our slider for viewing. If you double click this, it fits the entire audio in the window for you automatically. Now, if you notice the line, this tempo line isn't constant. Why? Because it's a free feel song. And this is going to give you a roadmap of how the tempo changes throughout the performance. But what Melodyne can do now is if we wanted to import audio, let's say drum loops, to spice up this, uh, this demo, it can actually conform itself to the tempo map that we're looking at here. Now I'm gonna deactivate the edit tempo window by choosing it like this back in our dialog box above here. Now, next to that, we have our auto stretch button. And this is what it's all about. When it's grayed out like this, it's deactivated. If I was to activate it, just simply select it. And now it's white. And this is really important. If you're working with files and you don't want files to be auto-stretched, make sure this is off. Oh, it's always handy to keep an eye on this. But in this case, I'm going to toggle it on. Now, any drum loops that I import into this session is going to conform an auto-stretch. It's going to tempo map itself and follow this tempo curve. I've created three tracks here. And what I'll do now is import some drum loops. Here I've got a file in my file browser, which here in the top right corner, you can toggle open and close like this. This is a really handy way to uh, have some file management to your, uh, your workflow. And so let's go to some of these. Now I've got Sonar Rocks here. This play button allows us to preview loops. So I can preview any of these before I import them. So let's begin importing. Now notice when I drag in this waveform and I drop it off here at beat one bar one, how it analyzes and then tempo maps it to the performance. Okay, so let me select this one, bring it up, bring it to beat one bar one and let go. And just like that, you saw the audio was analyzed. Here it is, right up there. <laughs> I've got everything zoomed out. Let's go back in a little bit. Now there's my loop. Okay, and here's the acoustic guitar. And I could see them both correspondingly if I hold down my command key on a Mac, for example, and select both the orange icons. Here's my drum loop right here, overlaying on a view of the acoustic guitar. All right, let's take a listen. Now what you're going to hear is the acoustic guitar and the drum loop tempo mapped to that performance. Let's open up our edit window again so we can follow along a little bit, have that visual. Okay, here we go.
And there you go. Let's try a couple more examples. Okay, so let me mute that one. And I have folk rock here, so here's folk rock. Let's play the sample. Select it and drag it to beat one bar one in this example. Let it go, it's analyzed and tempo stretched. And let's do one more. Let me mute that one. Let's go to Arena Rock. There. Um, there we go. Select that. Bring it in. Analyzes it. Tempo maps. It stretches it right out that quickly. One thing I like to do sometimes is mix loops. For example, I'll play both folk rock and arena rock here at the same time and blend them in. There you go. So it's as easy as this. I can right click here in my tracks pane, choose new track. There I've created a new track. And any sample I import will uh, tempo map itself. Let's do that again. I'll bring it in here, drag it in, beat one bar one. Mute the mute some of these so we only hear this one. And let's test this one. Without, with. And there you have it. This is how you would begin utilizing the auto stretch feature here. It's very easy to use. Now, keep in mind that as long as this auto stretch button is enabled, anything you import here will be tempo mapped and auto stretched for you. So keep an eye on that. Now you know.